Come on now. Shit. Really? Word. happening all right here we go making sure this is being shared then we can get going What is happening, y'all? See how this works out today. I, uh, yeah, ooh, don't forget it, bruh. Don't forget it. Just about to head out to the gym and get my gym bag. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure the door is locked. I don't need none of you, me and my freaky female fans, break it into my house and uh, stay on my drawers or something. Some of you females out there, freaks. I don't need any of that. Saying, uh, so. Oh, that's cool. Kind of lets me know how many people are watching on YouTube and everything. I like that. The normal, the normal broadcast on you now doesn't do that. Y'all gotta see this. Look at this lake. Look at that. Tree parts and everything down all over the place. All fucked up because of the damn snow. It's a lot of ice all over everything. So, cause things to collapse. I'm on my way to the gym. Been playing around and holding off for too long. Time to get back. Today is going to be back day. It's going to be back day, man. We doing back. So we can get in them sugar walls better, man. And skeet, skeet, skeet. There we go. I think what I'm going to start doing is kind of... I'm going to start my broadcast on you now. Before I get out the house, make sure everything is uh, make sure everything is broadcasting properly. You know what I'm saying? Everything is broadcast. That one's this one's different, different than Instagram. Instagram's films it slightly different. Huh. I guess this one's more correct. I was going to assume. So anyway, I do daily drives. Not every single day, but whenever I feel like broadcasting, you know, because a lot of you know that if you're on Instagram with me, like almost every single day, a couple times a day or so, you know, y'all take a drive with me every time. So I said, well, let's do it on a grander scale. Let's go, let's go through you now, which feeds into YouTube. And let's do that, you know, have a little chat with, with the subs, you know, and, uh, yeah. So, so, uh, how 
about that uh, page sex tape, y'all. Good Jesus. <laughs> you know, uh, I gotta say, a lot of y'all, I think a lot of people are worried that she's gonna get fired. I don't know if she's gonna get fired since she was hacked. You know what I'm saying? But some people are like, oh, she ain't gonna get fired because, you know, I don't know. I mean, there's getting hacked and there's things being leaked. And, you know, I mean, I guess you could say the same thing, sim something similar about the whole Hulk Hogan situation. Should they have stopped dealing with him? I mean, it wasn't like he, that shit was like leaked. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't like it was, you know, he was unbeknownst to him. He was being recorded. And, you know, so it's like that type of thing. Should they put the same stuff on that? But, you know, it, you know, I, I, I get why people are saying, ah, well, you know, it's a private stuff. And, you know, so it's a little bit different than the Hulk Hogan situation. Cause, you know, but uh, I mean, some people are wor like wondering, like, well, what's Del Rio going to think, you know, and what, well, how's that going to affect their relationship? Well, I'll tell you this, y'all, in all seriousness. Um, As a man, we know when we're dealing with a freak for the most part, especially if they're a man like me. Like, I ask so many damn questions. You know, like girls, sometimes women get mad at me, but it is what it is, you know. You're going to have an open relationship with me, you know, and I mean open and we speak freely and understand each other type. We need to be open with each other in the relationship. You know, I'm going to pretty much ask what I need to ask because, uh, you know, I don't want things in the back of my mind and then things to pop up later. So, you know, in my past, I have dealt with women that were freaks, more freaky than I needed to know. You get what I'm saying? Um, I've dealt with girls that have had group sessions with people, you know, I'm not real fucking cool with that, you know, uh, and, you know, freaks, period. You know, it's just, you know, we all know our freak threshold. And sometimes you talk to a girl and you're like, eh, you know, like, it's like <laughs> women, if you don't know, I mean, when men, men want the absolute best sexual experience that they can get from a woman. Okay. And no, that's not all that we want you for, but sex is a huge part of a relationship and. The, 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 the balancing act that a man has to play when he is finding a woman for himself is finding the nastiest porn star gutta bitch that he can find in the bed, but Betty Crocker introduced to your mom, intelligent, ambitious, good, all around, your boy's respect. Of that type of classy woman. And it is hard for us to find that. This is, I think, the first time that I've even stated this in a video. It is so hard for us to find that. Now, men, on the other hand, we nasty ass savages anyway. So, you know, all the girls usually, you know, you or you. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, you're going to get a nasty motherfucker anyway, women. Okay? So, <laughs> you just got to worry about, um, you know, if he's a good guy or not. You know, like, every dude is, is, is a fucking porn star. Every dude is eating booty and, you know, doing anal and all these other things that are done in porno. Hey, every guy out there is pretty much ready to do that shit. <laughs> But women, it's different. So, you know, that, that's, that's that, you know. But, uh, so what I say all that to say about Del Rio is that, look, from what I read about the wrestling business, they're a bunch of fucking freaks, man. The celebrities, celebrities get wild, and I can't see, and they seem to be a close-knit community also. I can't see him not knowing that he got a freak on his hands. You get what I'm saying? 
Now, I could see him getting angry that that shit was released. Like, God damn, they got you out of here. Like, like I you know what I'd have been, because it's iCloud, right? You know what I'd, I'd have been like, well, why the fuck do you, like, like with me, I'd have been like, why the fuck do you still got, you know, video, you fucking Xavier and Maddox on your fucking iCloud? Now, she, you know, so, like, a lot of times people upload shit to the iCloud and they just fucking forget. I remember I was looking on my Google Drive a little while back and I was like, I still got this shit? God damn. Like, I forgot. I even uploaded this shit to my Google Drive. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just had, like, some pictures of my dog and stuff. And I was like, wow, I thought I lost these pictures. So, um, so, yeah. So, anyway, so, you know, that could be just the case. But that's the only thing I'd be like, damn. Pictures of my fiancé. Videos of my fucking fiancé. Her out here sucking other dudes, dicks, wrong fuckers. Doing fucking group porno threesome shit with Maddox hard dick dangling around and fucking up, up, down, down. Guess he ate his bootios that day, man. I just, that's that's my own thing, you know what I mean? I, I mean, depending on how freaky they are, too. Um, I mean, they might give a fuck. You know, sometimes freaks like that don't give a damn. It's like, well, look, I, I got my dick and balls dangling in front of Maddox. Okay. Maddox is so close with the camera taping this shit that he can smell my balls. I mean, shit. How am I going to be embarrassed after that? You know, she got Maddox, you know, filming booty and the in and out. I mean, how, how, you know, how embarrassed can you be at if you that freaky? You know what I'm saying? Now, in my lifetime, I've had a group session. I had one group session. And it was me and it was... It was three, three other chicks. And a fourth one that was there that was just watching. And I ended up dropping out <laughs> of the battle royal because I felt funny about it. It was just weird at a point, you know, and you would think, yeah, nah, you know, I ain't going to, you know, ah, nah, fuck that. Cause, you know, nah. I felt weird. It was, it felt strange, you know, that I was on display like that, fucking these chicks and, you know, with the other one, it just felt weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's something like, yeah, as a man, oh, yeah, I kind of got that under my belt. But it wasn't as glorious as, uh, you know, it sounds, you know. So if, if it was me in that tape, you know what I mean, say it was me being recorded with the four girls and it got released, I'd be embarrassed. I'd be like, God damn it. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Did my dick, at least did my dick look big, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Reminds me of uh, how, uh, how, uh. Um, X Pop, when he was uh, shooting on the whole China tape, he was like, he was like, yeah, at least yeah, the angle made my cock look huge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like with me, I remember one time, and this is why I don't, I don't really do. It's very rare that I, y'all don't see me take a lot of selfies. Cause I just, I'm just not a selfie guy. I get, I get tired. I don't like the the, the angle. And the way the lens makes me look with cameras, well, at least with camera phones. So that's why you don't see me do a ton of selfies, because I'm not putting in the time to fucking master all the shit that girls do, you know, the Instagram queens do. I'm not doing it. So if I take a good picture, I take a good picture. Maybe I'll upload it. You know what I mean? But but the same thing is with dick pics. I realize. That even though I'm an above average brother and I'm in the house, okay? Okay, Magnus destroys Coochie, okay? There's been a few pictures that I've taken and I was like, you know, I'm sitting there, look, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm about to take the picture and then I'm like, okay, why does it look a 
Okay, it's look, looking King Kong right here. But why, when I look in the lens, does the shit look smaller? What the? That don't look right. So I'll never forget this. Never forget this. There was this chick that I was talking to, and uh, we started sexing at some point. And she used to send me tons of naked shots. Tons. Like, she, she, you know, so it got to the point where she was basically begging for a dick pic. And I was like, ah, fuck. It literally was my first dick pic ever. And I was like, you know, like I said, the whole scenario happened. I was like, okay, looking, okay, looking in charge right here, motherfucking General Zod on this motherfucker. So I took it and I was like, why is it? It don't look, what is it? The background? Why don't it look right? It looked small here. What the fuck? But I was like, nah, fuck it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I'm not seeing it right because I'm being self conscious. So I send the pic and she telling me how she loves it. And oh my God, I can't wait. All this. So. <laughs> When, when it come to the showdown, eventually, I ended up meeting up with her, I guess, I don't know, a few weeks later. And she comes to see me, and I will never forget this. I will never forget this. Let me see if I can, let me see if I, do I have anything that's uh, similar to a dick? <laughs> I'm going to show you exactly what she did. <laughs> I'm driving right now. This is what she did. <laughs> this is my grip machine. Okay, so this is what she did. She was giving me head, and at one point she stops. And this is what she says to me. She goes, this is exactly what she does with my penile. She goes, it's a lot bigger in person. And I was like, God damn it! I knew that fucking picture! <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, she started laughing. She was like, no, it's fine. She was like, even when I saw the picture, I still liked it. I like the shape and how it looks and everything. She was like, but yeah, it's it's a lot bigger in person. I was like, I am never fucking taking a dick pic again. <laughs> but of course, that was a lie. Because I ended up you know, fucking with a few girls after that that wanted a dick pic. But I'm still not a fan of sending them. Because, you know, I just, I'm like, God damn it. Now I got to, you know, because sometimes the girls are being real generous with themselves. You know, the girls sometimes, like, sometimes I'll talk to a chick and I'm just getting all types of ass and thigh and coochie and titty shot. They just are just spoiling me. Like, I don't even ask for them. And I'm just getting all this sexual, you know, stuff from the girl. And I know in the back of my head, sooner or later, I ask for a dick pic. And I'm always, like, hesitant because I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. Now I got the... Uh, and I won't take them unless I'm in the mood. Like, I'm not going to just pull my dick out and take a dick pic. It's just not going to happen like that. I got to be in that mood, you know, when you laying around and you talking to a girl. And, you know, y'all both basically on the phone all turned on and shit. Then I'll do it, but out of the blue, you know, in the middle of the day, yeah, I mean, I just went to get the mail out the mailbox, and you horny as fuck, and you asked me for a dick pic. I'm not going to get it, okay? I just got my my power bill. I'm checking opening shit. I'm not sending you my dick. So, you know, you know, the best thing would be to do, I guess, is to have dick pics on deck. You know, so that you can send one whenever the girl's horny. But then, you know, what if your phone, you lose your phone? And I'm not the type to keep no dick pics in my phone and shit. Like, I'll take a fresh one, send it, and delete it type of thing. You know, I'm not going to have my penile circulating out there, you know what I mean, for the world to see. That's just not me. And that rhyme, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> Alicia Fox. Shucky ducky, quack quack. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. So I wanna, I wanna kind of uh, make these videos into a uh, a series uh, called um, 
daily drives. And this will be daily drive number one. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it does. If, you know, if it doesn't really do well, then maybe I'll stop doing daily drives. Or maybe I'll just do them from time to time or whatever. But, uh, yeah. But when I move, if I do move, damn, the gym is crowded like a motherfucker. Holy shit. Okay. Everybody must have been lively gagging. Had to get in this bitch today, huh? All right. Anyway, um. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, if everything does well, you know, oh, 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 when I move, I'll have actually more time. It'll be more of 10 more minutes to the drive. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm coming to this gym. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a lot more time to talk. It might even be doubled depending on uh, traffic. But yeah, so I am here. I'm ready to do my thing, y'all. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I will talk to y'all soon. So, actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll take y'all in here with me. Maybe if I, maybe I can, maybe I'll run into some folks. I, nah, I probably won't run into nobody that I know right now. I don't think I will. <clears throat> yeah. I'm trying to think. I know who works when they work. Yeah, but, uh, let me see something here. Let's see. Uh, aha, okay, cool. All right. I don't even know how to, all right. Oh, one million subscribers. Oh, by the way, um, when I get home, I'm going to do the first episode of Iron Fist. I'm going to do Iron Fist when I get home. Um. And uh, for those of you that um, are subscribed to Rip.TV, you can watch me on there. That's free as long as you have Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, you get 30 days free from Netflix anyway. So you can watch me there. Or you can watch me on YouTube. YouTube, it, it'll it'll feed right to YouTube. And it'll have a counter with it. So all you got to do is open up your Netflix in another window and watch it with me. The counter's there. So, um a lot of you that have been begging and pissing and moaning and whining and all butt hurt about not having a counter when I do the Dragon Ball Z, I mean the Dragon Ball Super reactions. It's there with the Rift.tv. Watch it anytime you want, and you know, you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, yeah. If there, I mean, look, I don't have, I don't think I even have software for a counter. But uh, I'll 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 try to find out if I can find one. You know what I mean? It's uh, I'm sure it shouldn't be that hard to uh, you know do. But uh, for those of you that uh, do know, uh, are there any type of easy I don't know softwares out there that can put a, a counter in there? Because the counter really isn't needed. It really isn't needed. It's not. I always say we'll press play on three together. One, two, three. When I do the Dragon Ball Super. So it's kind of like why you need a counter. The only time you would need a counter, I guess, is if you you you, you have a hard time pausing properly. You're like, ah, I got to take a piss. Uh, you want to pause both at the same time. I get it. Okay. You know what I mean? But other than that, you don't need a counter at all. So, but, uh, yeah, just some software out there. Just send me some links. You know what I mean? But I, I, I'm thinking I, should, I use Adobe, Adobe Premiere Elements, but I can't remember which version I use. If it's in there, I'll try to do that. I'll you know, try to see if I can do that with my Dragon Ball Super. But um, Rip.TV is really fucking cool. They're actually um, working with um, other streaming companies right now. We're trying... So it's not just going to be Netflix that you can watch with it. It may be stuff like Hulu, Amazon, Amazon Prime, maybe Amazon Prime. Um, it may be stuff like Crunchyroll or Funimation or so. So that's why that's why they're so fucking cool because this this is cool, y'all. Like 
for me to be able to, I'm not, like the dream of the fans is coming true. Thank you very much, OK Baby fan page. It's getting to the point where now all the things that you guys wanted me to be able to react to, reacting has gotten so fucking big. You know, like you, you look at reacting has gotten so big that all the main YouTubers now do them. You know, a lot of a lot of them do do them. And I was like, yeah, because people want that experience. They want to watch a video with a friend. That's the main experience, you know. And uh, but it's getting to the point now. You guys are really able to watch these feet full length movies with me. These television shows with me. Episodes with me. You know what I mean? So it's it's getting bigger and bigger, y'all. And the big businesses understand because it shows them really what people want and how people react in the moment to their product. It's not um, a review when you're done. It's uh, it, it's a real reaction in the moment, which scientifically into them, statistically, all their stats and numbers and how people view their product is very important. And I started to figure that out when the big companies started to contact the reactors and ask us to react to trailers and stuff like that. That's when I knew back then that reacting was getting big and the big businesses realized how important it was, you know, and, uh, you know, gamers got hell when they first started doing gaming. And, uh, but now the top, um, person on YouTube is a gamer making $8 million a year. So fuck what you heard about people talking shit about reactions. Fuck them. It's just not their form of entertainment. That's it. Not everybody's going to like the same form of entertainment. Oh, you just sit there and play video games all day. Da, da, da. Yeah, well, okay. That's my talent. I have the ability to entertain people while playing video games. People love my reactions. They love my uh, my commentary. They love the conversations that I have in my live streams. And whatever else I do with my gaming videos. It's the same thing for reactions. They love all that same shit, the interactions, the reactions, the commentary, all that stuff. You just mad because you can't do what we do. Find your talent, put it on video, and then you'll be just as big as us doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yours is playing hopscotch while giving commentary. <coughs> yeah, nigga. I'm killing this hopscotch. <laughs> and then you want to start getting hit. This movie doing hopscotch while doing a live stream. There's no talent in that. Stop hating. Because I'm a hopscotch master while giving commentary and making $8 million a year. Don't hate. Because I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I see it. Okay. Now, let me get in here and build my muscles. Okay. Because I never know when I'm going to run into a female that I got to decimate. I got to stay in shape. I mean, girls be in all them cardio classes. They be Zumba and all that shit. You know, men can pound it out, but they can only go so long. Stamina be down. So I got to you know, work out. I got to start running and all that shit. I got to get chiseled again. You know what I'm saying? Get back to God form. God mode Magnus. So anyway, I will <laughs> see y'all. Get up talking like. 19 more minutes. All right, y'all. I will see you soon. I got to use this energy on the weights. All right. One million subscribers. Woo! Mm.